Hey everyone, it's your name from Cybersecurity Essentials and let's face it, remote work is here to stay, right? It's got its perks, no doubt, but it's also a tempting target for those pesky cyber criminals. You see, when you're working from your couch, your local coffee shop, or even your kitchen table, you might not have the same level of security that you'd get from an office network. And believe me, the bad guys know this, and they're constantly looking for weak points to exploit. But don't worry. In this video, we're going to walk through some simple, yet super effective tips to help you stay safe online while working remotely. Think of it as your cybersecurity checklist for the work from home world. Let's be honest, working from home often means connecting to work systems from personal devices and home networks. These might not have the same robust security measures as a company's office setup. Cyber criminals, they're a bit like that opportunistic burglar trying every door on the street. They're looking for easy targets and unsecured Wi-Fi networks, outdated software on your laptop. These are all open invitations. Think of it like this. Every weak point, whether it's a flimsy password or an out-of-date app, is a potential entry point for an attack, and once they're in, they can steal data, install malware, all sorts of nasty stuff. Okay, let's start with the basics. Strong, unique passwords. I know you've heard it a million times, but it's amazing how many people still use password 123. Don't be that person. Use a password manager if you need help keeping track and whenever possible, enable multi-factor authentication, MFA. This adds an extra layer of security, like a PIN code sent to your phone, making it much harder for anyone else to access your accounts. Think of MFA as your digital bodyguard. Even if someone steals your password, they still can't get in without that second form of verification. It's a simple step that makes a world of difference. Ever worked from a coffee shop or an airport? Of course you have, we all love a change of scenery, but public Wi-Fi is notoriously risky. It's like sending postcards with your secrets written on them. Anyone can snoop. That's where a VPN or virtual private network comes in. It creates a secure encrypted tunnel for your internet traffic, shielding your data from prying eyes. It's like putting on an invisibility cloak while you're browsing online. So, if you're connecting to work systems from anywhere other than your secure home network, a VPN is a must-have. It's your digital shield against eavesdropping and data theft. Chapter 4. Imagine your software is like a castle. Outdated software is full of holes and gaps in the walls. Hackers love finding these vulnerabilities. It's like walking through an open door for them. So keep your operating system, apps, web browsers, and especially your antivirus software updated. These updates often include security patches that fix those vulnerabilities, making it much harder for attackers to exploit them. Set updates to automatic whenever possible. It's one less thing to remember and it ensures you have the latest protection against emerging threats. Trust me, a little update now can save you a big headache later. Chapter 5. Your home network is your castle and you wouldn't leave the drawbridge down, would you? So, treat your router's security settings with the same importance. First things first, change that default password. You'd be surprised how many people leave it as admin or password. Then make sure you're using WPA3 encryption. It's the strongest protection for your Wi-Fi. And if you can, create a separate guest network for personal devices and smart home gadgets. It keeps your work devices and data on a separate, more secure network. Think of it as building a digital wall within your home. Chapter 6, I get it, we all love our personal gadgets, but when it comes to work, especially sensitive company data, it's best to stick to company-approved devices. These devices usually come pre-configured with security software, VPNs, and other settings that comply with your company's cybersecurity policies. It's like having a work-dedicated fortress for your digital activities. Using personal devices can increase the risk of data leaks, malware infections, and other security nightmares. Plus, it might even violate your company's policies. So, play it safe and keep work and personal devices separate. Phishing attacks are getting more sophisticated by the day. These are emails, messages, or websites designed to trick you into giving away your passwords, credit card details, or other sensitive information. Be wary of emails with suspicious links, unexpected attachments, or requests for personal information. If something feels off, it probably is. Don't be afraid to hover over links to see where they really lead, and always double-check the sender's email address. 
Remember, if a deal sounds too good to be true online, it probably is. When in doubt, verify directly with the company or organization using contact information from their official website. We all share files online, but when it comes to sensitive work documents, you need to be extra careful. Avoid sending them through email or using unencrypted file sharing services. It's like sending them in a plain envelope. Instead, use your company's approved cloud storage or file sharing platforms. These services often encrypt data in transit and at rest, adding extra layers of protection. They're like secure couriers for your valuable information. And always double check the recipient's email address before hitting send. It's easy to make a typo, and you don't want confidential information ending up in the wrong hands. The world of cybersecurity is constantly changing. New threats pop up every day, and the bad guys are always finding new tricks. That's why it's crucial to stay informed. Take advantage of any cybersecurity training offered by your company. Keep an eye on tech news and security blogs for the latest threat alerts and tips. Think of it as ongoing education for your digital safety. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to Cybersecurity Essentials for more helpful advice and tips to keep your digital life safe and sound. We're all in this together. So there you have it, 9 essential cybersecurity tips to keep you safe while working remotely. Remember, staying safe online isn't about being a tech whiz, it's about taking those small, practical steps that make a big difference. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your colleagues, friends and family, because we can all play a part in making the online world a safer place. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to Cybersecurity Essentials and hit that bell icon so you never miss our weekly tips and tricks. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video.